Um, she has enjoyed a prominent career from which she has created several major bodies of work, including international exhibitions and collaborations. And uh, uh, Brenda's been a really important part of the nurturing my early career, so thank you for that, Brenda. Um, and it's my pleasure to present the fellowship to Brenda L. Croft. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Ree. Um, this is really nerve-wracking, so I'll try and get through it as sensibly as possible. I pay my deep, heartfelt respects to the traditional custodians on whose land I stand, the Gadigal. Thank you, Uncle Chica. Their spiritual presence is instilled in the landscape, the water, and the skies above us, and their descendants live in Sydney today. I also pay my respects to all Indigenous people here tonight. I make this acknowledgement as a proud Gurindji Malian Mutbara woman on my father's side, and also as a person of Anglo-Australian, Irish and German heritage on my mother's. I wanted to stand here with a kuduru, which is a Gurindji woman's fighting stick, but unfortunately I left it at home. <laughs> So instead, I thank Gabriella Roy for kindly lending me a beautiful 19th century southeast digging stick to signify where we are, and also a Central Australian woman's digging stick. And I'm from the Northern Territory. So that's the two of us here together. These are to remind us of all our ancestors. No amount of concrete, steel, bitumen and glass introduced these last two plus centuries can change the fact that where we stand is Aboriginal land. Always was and always will be. I wouldn't be here tonight if not for the many decades of hard work by so many of our community leaders whose blood, sweat and tears created the pathways on which we have all travelled. Cultural activists and fighters like Gurindji Mullion leader from my father's community, Vincent Lingyari, and Bidjigal Elder, Uncle Chicka Dixon, and people like Uncle Chicka Madden, and many others whose determination paved the way for all of us. I made mention of Uncle Chicka because he was the first chair of the Aboriginal Arts Board. We stand on their shoulders. I, I pay special tribute to my parents, Joe and Dorothy. My father was a member of the Stolen Generations and my mother was his strongest advocate in helping reunite him with family. My father's experience informed his and my brother's lives, and both my parents taught me the importance of 